Hi everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are gonna go through my three projects that I have coming up. Amongst them, this beautiful orange Range Rover from 77, 1977. So, yeah, let's kick it off. Here we go. So, as I said, I got three projects coming up for this YouTube channel, so I will be quite busy and I have other things going on as well. So, I'll try to keep a tempo on these videos so we can see some progress. But since I'm not very familiar to car mechanics and how to plan a project and stuff, we will see how it goes. In the last video, I said that I purchased a 1984 Range Rover Classic like two years ago soon that's only been on my driveway since then so finally I hope I will get my hands dirty and start working on the car um, and on top of that I bought two other projects from the same guy that I bought the first car of so this white beauty is one of them and it's a car from 1977 that's been ran approximately 160,000 kilometers so it's not ran very far but it has been used for hunting as a hunter vehicle so they have been keeping dogs in the trunk so they actually built like a homemade dog cage or something it's awful and it's ruining the car so the plan is to get rid of that dog cage to start with and I bought a, a back seat of a guy just a, an hour from here uh, so I'll get that back seat into this car but otherwise it's like a normal old car we got plenty of rust going on like up here all the way but it seems to be just surface rust so hopefully we can just get rid of this rear window just grind it down and paint it off hopefully we'll see but as you can see here it's yeah gonna need some work well, the frame I think is pretty decent of course it will need some replacement parts and some welding and grinding and painting but it's pretty fair I think to be a 77 and been used as a like a forest vehicle or hunting vehicle it's I think it looks pretty good uh, and when we picked it up, it actually started up, so we could drive it onto the trailer and brought it home. And that was a good sign. And when we started it, it was, the engine sounds very, very, very good. It's spun like a kitten, so that's very exciting actually. Uh, so hopefully there won't be too much maintenance on the engine. Uh, maybe I can focus just on the interior and exterior. And at least get it driving so I can use it for just, I don't know, Range Rover meetings or just take it to the store and buy uh, groceries or something. So, yeah, that's my plan with this one. And I don't know if it's too dark in here maybe. But you can see it's very dark in here actually. Let's see. There we go. So it's not terrible, not everything is ruined, but it needs quite a lot of work, you can say at least. It's still got the AC in, and these disgusting seat covers 
they are actually have been working very well because here is the original seats let's see if we can get the lighting here can you see that perfectly conditioned perfect condition so that is very exciting to actually see that these are covered up and not totally ruined let's see okay it's all over this i don't think the headrest is pretty decent as well and we can put the light up here Oh, look at this. Woohoo! That is awesome. I guess this cover is pretty nasty. So. Ah! Oof. Oh man, look at this. Boom. It's totally perfect. Ha! Huh. Can you imagine? What is it like? Almost 50 years old seats that look like brand new. What? Oh yeah, it is. I hope I'm not carrying the real seat, just the cover. Oh man, look at this. A small broken seam over here. But otherwise, looks very, very good. It's like brand new. Oh, that's awesome. Pretty cool, huh? And I'm so excited that these seats look so, so good. Because if you need to refurbish or re, you know, reholster, redo all the seats, it's quite costful. So it's very good that that isn't the case in this one. One thing I've noticed is this door is sagging quite a bit. So you need to like lift it up and... Uh, close it at the same time so that's not good and this window is stuck but it'll be a fun project fully complete 3.5 v8 petrol engine and as i said i think this one is complete as well doesn't seem to be any added features or mods or anything uh, the only thing i did on this was to change the gasoline filter down here to a new one so i didn't get any old and gunky old fuel into the carburetors these stickers are freaking ugly the moose and stuff this is swedish it's like dare to refuse wolf to protect your own animals and stuff it's pretty good i think but uh, then we have some footprints from uh elk moose or something beautiful that will be very exciting let's move on to the orange one whoop, whoop. Here we got the real beast. Okay, so this one is also used as a terrain vehicle, I guess, off-roading stuff. This car, it's 
in pretty good shape actually except that they modified it to hell or from hell so everything is not original you can say at least so if we take the interior it's quite chaos actually here you got some non-original seats where i have at least a hard time believing so i think these are leather or fake leather and pretty comfortable but not original and they built like a, they built a wooden wall here and made like a speaker wall up here as well and a subwoofer and an amplifier yeah and here you have the dash pretty messed up you can see at least and i think they modified the ac with like an old volvo or something and there's cables everywhere that i don't know what it is ugly steering wheel but otherwise it's pretty good got a cool cool roof rack up here extra lighting very good the biggest negative part with this car is that they put in a GM 6.2 liters diesel engine in here. Have you seen how full it is in this engine compartment? What? Please. I think they actually had to bend the hood to fit the, the engine. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. Guess it's a really strong car. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got this one running yet. There's something wrong with the diesel pump of this car. I got the, the diesel coming from the tank through a filter, another filter, or through the electrical pump, through a filter, and down to the next pump. But well, when the diesel is in the second pump is leaking everywhere so just up in here somewhere maybe we could take it here. yeah up there arrow now pew, pew, pew. it's pretty cool actually hmm. these corner panels looks pretty good you can see they are in very good shape a rust bubble down there but otherwise we've got some good material on this one let's see the trunk mm -hmm. look what they made oh. wow how can you destroy a beautiful car like this huh Okay, I guess they had a purpose with it, because they use it as a hunting vehicle or off-roading, but come on guys. But as you can see on this one, this probably have been Bahama Gold, as original, if this is the original tailgate, of course. Cracked rear window. Everything is so heavy. Or I'm turning really, really weak. But yeah, pretty decent car. Um, so the plan is to use the best part on this one, get it on the white one, and get that as good as possible because I think the value is better on that car in the end, in the long run. But we'll see. Or maybe I'll sell this car, get the money into that one. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so that is project number two, or my parts rig, or parts car, I don't know. We got some good parts rig. But yeah, let's move on to the final project that has been mine for the longest time. So this car I bought in April 2020, I think. So just got it running and uh, drove couple of meters with it there's something wrong with the transfer case or transfer box or 
the gearbox because it won't it's only in low gear I think so I think it's stuck so I would need to get it open up and there's like a the gear lever you can grease up and get it to move again and I think that's is the problem but anyhow this is the my baby this car is from 1984 as I said and as the other one the white one it's a 3.5 v8 carbureted engine this one is though automatic the white one is manual so that is the biggest difference uh, this one have four doors so a bit more comfortable to jump in and out of and you can see this is pretty tight inside take a look at this got a teddy bear feeling of it all intact oh mice poop hmm nice let's see like pretty good imagine to clean this up get it running get the ceiling tighten up and get take this one for a cruise right pretty decent dashboard just a few holes over there this is actually a pretty good looking car if compares compared to the other ones so this one the frame is pretty good the guy before me and the guy before him did a quite a, ooh, did quite a good job to maintain and like protect it from rusting uh, so I think it's pretty good of course it's gonna be rust and we gotta do everything all over again um, see as you can see it's like pretty good that's gonna be exciting as well uh, so the plan is actually to get rid of the things in the trunk of the white one get the engine running take it to the MOT or the car inspection hopefully they say there's nothing wrong with it and you can drive it straight away <laughs> probably not Please. make the change that will that is needed to get it to run and legal and if that's not the case I think this one is the better choice I think this one will be running better and not as much rust the problem is that the engine is sounding not very good or there's something clunking close to the engine could be the clutch that is not attached properly or it could be the downpipes um, or the manifold or something that is not attached securely so I need to take a look at that as well uh, but otherwise that's like a, that's a proper functional car over there So now I've been talking and talking and talking about my projects and as you can see I got three quite big projects going on and hopefully we can get two really good cars out of these three projects. The first thing in the next episode will probably be me uh, tearing out the white interior, get rid of the old dog cage and hopefully replacing the new couch that I bought earlier that is also in very good condition. Um, and we'll see maybe we can get the car running and let's hear the engine run in the next episode and if you follow me all the way through this long video with me talking 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 just leave a comment down below what you think i should do with all my cars uh, should i keep the orange as well and try to fix it up maybe change the engine i got an extra 3.5 orig original engine from the range rover Land Rover uh, that I can put in if I like and have the knowledge to <laughs> if someone can help me please leave a comment what do you think I should do if my idea is good keep the white keep the silver one get rid of the orange or use it as a ridge, ri rig part part car extra car parts yeah you know what I mean see ya ciao